Hey, what's up, everybody? This one almost did not get done. I have uh, had a full day today. I'm just getting in, uh, showered, got a quick bite to eat. Uh, 12 hour day today and it's been a very productive day but it's been a an, an arduous day uh, very task oriented a lot accomplished though but i am tired there's no doubt about it but i gave you my commitment that i would do these videos one a day for 30 days straight and today is day 11 so this is the troy de Graal chronicles day 11 of 30. i want to take a few minutes to just acknowledge and remember all of the lives that were lost uh, during the tragedy of 9-11. I most certainly remember where I was the moment it was, was, was revealed uh, that our country was being attacked by terrorists who had hijacked uh, airplanes. Um, it's a tragedy, horrific tragedy. Uh, I've been to New York to the site, uh, to the memorial. And it's a very moving place to go and be. If you've never been there, put it on your, your travel agenda one day to go to New York and, and visit the 9-11 the uh, area where they have the memorial. Today I want to talk about apologies. I want to talk about apologies uh, as it relates to maturity. I believe that the more mature we are, the more we are capable, able, and willing to apologize. And I believe that apologies are very important as it relates to cultivating healthy relationships. It's also important uh, as it relates to showing yourself as being someone who is able to acknowledge when they are wrong. Uh, none of us are always right. None of us always get it right. None of us always say it right. We all have our moments where we are either aggravated, tired, or frustrated, don't want to be bothered. And something we say or something we do affects someone that we love in a negative way. It hurts, it offends, it causes confusion. And we have to be mature enough to apologize, especially to those individuals uh, that we deem important, those individuals that we value, those individuals that we love. And I know some of you uh, are oftentimes like me. I hate apologizing. I hate it. It's painful. I don't know why, but it is. But I do it because I know it's important for it to be done. I was thinking about Proverbs 15 and 1 as a perfect segue to this topic of apologies and mat being mature. It says... A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I want to encourage you today and every day forward to be mindful when it's time to apologize. Have the maturity to be the one who gives a sincere, not a faux pas, apology, but a sincere apology from the heart. It says a lot about you when you are capable of apologizing in a way that is sincere. Many of us have been taught that to apologize makes you weak, makes you look weak. To apologize uh, makes you a loser. These are psychological lies that if you embrace them, uh, they will mess up your relationships. They will mess up the relationships that matter most because you will not allow yourself to admit when you're in error. You won't allow yourself to admit when you're wrong. You won't humble yourself to someone else and say, hey, I'm sorry. I should have said that. Or the way that I said it could have been said better. Or if I hurt your feelings, I apologize was not my intention. All of these things help to build and foster healthy relationships with the people that we care about. We have to be careful and cautious in life because oftentimes if we're not careful and if we're not cautious, we will give those who we love the most, uh, 
the worst treatment, the worst responses. They get the worst and everybody else gets the best. I want you to be mindful that you owe it to those who are closest to you. Honesty, sincerity, sympathy, and empathy, care, and concern. Because at the end of the day, all you have are those individuals that have proven themselves to be faithful, to stand with you, faithful to be there for you, and faithful to see you at your best, even though they've seen you at your worst. So today's message and thought and word and one of the things I've learned in 52 years of living is that apologies matter. And you have to have a certain level of maturity to be mindful and willing to give someone that you love and someone you care about a sincere apology. I hope this bless you. Hope you'll use it. I hope you'll use it whenever necessary. Take the high road. Be the bigger person. Demonstrate your maturity when you're wrong or you've wronged someone or you've hurt somebody's feelings or you said something in a harsh way. Be the one who's able to say, hey, I owe you an apology and I want you to know I'm sorry. Watch how far it goes with building the relationships that matter most in your life. It's Pastor Troy Wynn Sr., Troy to Chronicles, day 11 of 30. You guys have a good night.